Hi. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to include Google AdMob in your Ionic framework project uh, using a simple Apache Cordova plugin called Floating Hot Pot. Um, anything that you see in this video is included in my written web blog, which I will include in a link in the description of this video. So let's start by go ahead and we're going to create a brand new Ionic Framework project. So it went ahead and created the, an example project on our desktop. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to include the Android platform. Oops, we're not in the correct directory. Now, if I was on a Mac, I would also be adding the iOS platform. But since I'm on Ubuntu, I am limited to just Android. But be assured that this tutorial does work for iOS as well, not just Android. So now that the Android platform is added, we're going to go ahead and use the plugin, um, the Floating Hot Pot plugin. So it's open source and it's uh, on GitHub. I'm going to include the, the URL in my write-up. Let's go ahead and, and copy it. We're going to go ahead and add it to our project. Alright, it is now added. So let's go ahead and uh, navigate to our www folder in our Ionic project and we're going to edit the app.js file. So in this file in the on in the ready uh, method of Ionic platform, let's go ahead and add some lines of code. I added this, this little if statement because we want to make sure that the AdMob plugin is available. When you try to run this in the browser, Apache Cordova plugins don't work in the browser and we don't want to cause all kinds of errors. So this, this is just a nice little way to prevent errors. So now we're going to go ahead and create a variable that determines uh, which publisher ID to use. So let's go, I already have some keys saved, so I'm going to go ahead and open those. So what this does is if we are currently using the Android platform, use the Android key Otherwise, use the iOS key. And this is just a, a, a function inside of Cordova. So now that we've picked out our key, we're going we're gonna to initialize the AdMob plugin. Well, not necessarily initialize, just store it. All right. Let's go ahead and, and create a banner view.
right, let's go ahead and stop here for now. So what I'm doing is I'm initializing the banner view with our key. I'm telling it that it's ad size banner. There's a whole different list of, of ad sizes. Like you could use a smart banner, which kind of expands towards the device. The banner is just a predefined dimensions, but I find it to be useful. It has a, it has a pretty good fill rate. And then we're going to decide whether or not we want to position this banner view at the top. And I'm saying no. So it's going to appear at the bottom of your Ionic Framework app. So with that done, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next, which is a function. Alright, so let's, let's talk about what I did here. So we've gone ahead and set up the specs for the, for the ad view. Now in the um, success part of this um, create banner view function, we're going to decide what kind of ad to request. So we're requesting a live ad because we set is testing the false. If we were doing a lot of testing, we would set this to, to true and it would either not show an ad or it would show a sample ad, which is probably the way you want to do it in order to keep Google happy and prevent your account being banned. Um, in the success callback for request ad, we're actually going to show the ad. And then, of course, if the request failed, we're going to say that it failed to request the ad. So moving on, let's close that off, and let's go ahead and add and what I went what I did here was I created the, the error callback for the create banner view. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we try to run this. Again, all the code that we just did should work fine for iOS as well, if you're on a Mac. Alright, with that built, let's go ahead and install it. And fingers crossed that it worked. And as you can see, we have a banner ad at the bottom of our app. So by default, all the code that we provided, this banner ad will actually push everything up. So it will not overlap anything that you've displayed. So in your Ionic project, if you decide to have tabs down at the bottom, your tabs will just be pushed up. 
it, the banner will not overlap your tabs. So if you've liked this tutorial, um, go ahead and please subscribe to my channel. Also, please subscribe to my web blog that can be found in the link of this, this, of this video. Um, there's going to be a lot of great videos to come and a lot of great written tutorials to come. Uh, thank you.